Okay, I'm here with my Atari 2600, which has already been modded by me with the video mod right here. It's worked out very well. Although I do, I did leave the chip inside loosely, so I want to um, glue it to the side of the device. But now I am here to install this LED lot um, mod. It's a very simple modification. Um, from the website, all we need to do is open up the case. Solder the black and the red to those points. Drill a hole right here, which is shown essentially right there, and put it into place. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna take my Atari apart right now and start that process. So I'm going to start this by turning the console over. You can see the service information here. But all I have to do is take these four screws out. One, two, three, four. Okay, I've loosened the screws and taken them out and now I'm going to remove the cover. It's a little bit difficult to do with one hand. There we go. So I'll take a look at the previous mod that I did. There's the video mod. You can see how this chip is just loose right there. And this should be glued down. I'm going to do that before I'm done. So I need to cut. Here's my LED mod. And the red cable is a little bit longer than the black. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut these cut that so it matches up and then I got to strip some wire off and then where it has to be soldered in is right here um, those bottom two connections um, this one and this one black and red black red just solder that in I still have yet to drill this hole for the LED and I'll be done. Try to position the camera here right where I want the LED about right here I don't want to go through and hit my table here. I'm going to lift it up a little. Okay, okay got my hole here. It's not quite large enough to fit the LED mod, so I'm going to have to drill some more. So I've drilled out a rather, what I think is a large hole, and fitting goes right in. Got some discoloration around the edges. I'll probably, I'll probably just use a sharpie to blacken that. So I'm just going to throw the wires, which I've stripped now, cut and stripped through the hole. So there's the LED in place. The cable's coming across. According to the manual, it needs to be like this black, soldered, red, soldered, and the bottom black right above it, which is right here, the A203. So it needs to be black and then red on the bottom so I'm gonna get my soldering gun out and solder that in 
I'm going to attempt to solder this while I'm recording. That's one done. Oh, I melted it, but it didn't stick to the surface. Finished product. It's kind of quick and ugly, but that was the best I could do. So now I'm going to test it out. Okay, so I'm going to plug the video component in. Audio doesn't really need it really, but the power adapter. And I'll plug a cartridge in. Second here, we'll try this out. Just need to flip the power. We'll flip the power with the LED on to the left. Oh, I guess I should plug the 2600 power in first, then do the power. Ha! Ah, success. I didn't remember which color LED I got, but that's great. Uh, so that's the video mod up here, the LED mod right here, and I just need to go around the edge with a Sharpie because it's a little bit discolored. In, in better light, you can see the LED, <clears throat> the LED mod right here. But I'm going to go around it with a Sharpie. It's not going to be the greatest match, but nobody looks at the Qatari that closely anyways. It's a little better. So there it is. I could wipe around it a little better, but that's with the Sharpie. This isn't a pristine Atari anyways. It's got its own issues cosmetically, but it is my go-to machine. <laughs>